What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel, Surf Fish and Perdido Key this morning. We've had about three days of warmer weather now, so hopefully the water temp is rising. We're at the end of March, y'all. Pompano should be running thick. The wind is pushing southwest. We got a lot of chop out there. For Perdido Key area, the water isn't terribly dirty. So as far as surf fishing conditions, it's looking pretty nice this morning. We we'll start off with three rods, double drop rigs, a variety of different fish bites, and fresh dead shrimp. Let's see what happens. Let's get it out there! This is your first time tuning into the channel. Thank you very much. My name is Blaine Roberts. I run Perdido Blaine Outfitters, LLC. I'm running surf fishing guides and kayak fishing guides in the Perdido Key, Orange Beach, Alabama, and Pensacola, Florida areas. I also offer surf fishing lessons and overnight kayak excursions. If you're coming down on vacation or you're a local looking to get into this thing, you can find all my information at perdidoblaine.com. The link is in the description of this video. Let's catch some fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. It wasn't long, guys. It wasn't long. I just got out here. Super rough, super foggy. Uh, water's stained. Is he still on there? Is he still on there? Yeah, he's on there. He's on there. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did I lose him? Did I lose him? Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Little whiting. Nice. On the shrimp. Fresh dead, that's a keeper size whiting for sure. I might keep this guy. All right guys, temps are warming back up. Super rough out there, fairly stained water. But I've been set up for about three minutes and already pulling in some table fare. Since the whiting was the first fish I brought in, I'm gonna go ahead and get a fourth rod out here targeting whiting. Got this on an eight foot rod, double drop, smaller hooks, just a single bead. This is Frisky Finn's whiting rig. And because of the chop out there, I got a Frisky Fins two ounce Spudnik on here. I'm not casting super deep or super hard with this, so I feel comfortable with a two ounce weight on this lighter rod. We're just gonna do an easy lob right off the beach, right up front. All right, I'm getting hit again, hit again. Oh no, oh no. Same rod, same rod. Come on, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that one feels heavier. That one feels heavier. This might be a good morning, y'all. Another whiting. That one is bigger. That's a chunker there, guys. That's a bigger one, guys. He's probably... Oh, getting hit again. Getting hit again. I got two rods on. I got two rods on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. This rod definitely feels heavier. Oh. So I want to take care of this. But my little whiting rod is on too. He looked like he swam in. He's just kind of chilling up front here. Come on. Come on. Oh, complete madness. Big old catfish. Oh my goodness. All right. What's on the whitey rod? Come here. Nothing. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> he had swam all the way in. Oh. Another keeper whiting. Woo. Complete madness. Going off again. Going off again. Same rod. Ugh. Come here. Yeah, that guy's got some fight. That guy's got some fight. We're gonna have a nice fighting dinner tonight. I think I got some tortillas. Gonna make some tacos. Come on. Come on, taco. Come on, taco meat. Yeah, baby. Another respectable whiting. 
Frisky Fins Rattle Rig is tearing them up this morning. All right, two studs back to back. These guys are right around 14 inches. Let me deal with this catfish. This feels so good when this happens, guys. The multiple rods going off at one time. <laughs> I haven't seen this since the fall. We get a small pompano run in the fall where you get that action, multiple rods going off, and then obviously spring. Oh, I'm going off again. Another one for the cooler. These are all respectable size. This guy's 13, 14 inches. So like I was saying, the multiple rods going off at once, we get that in spring. It happens a little bit in summer, but usually trash fish. Oh, I'm getting hit on a little rod. Come on, little rod. Does he want it? I guess not. So we get that in summer, again, mostly trash fish. Spring is when we're getting the multiple rod bends and it's usually pompano and whitey. There we go, little rod again. Little rod again. Come here, come here. On that whiting rig. Super small hooks on it. Come here. Another little whiting. This is a great sign, guys, because I haven't seen whiting activity like this in a long time. I mean, a long time. I can pick them off here and there on trips. And when I say pick them off, like maybe one, maybe two. I haven't got this back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back whiting action in months. So this is my only rod that has not been hit. So I'm gonna leapfrog this guy west. See what happens down there. Oh, am I double hooked up again? Oh yeah, I am. I'm double hooked up. Oh, this one's big. This one's big. Uh, that one's over here is hooked up too. Uh, oh no, double hook up again. I don't feel much fight with this guy. This might be another cat. This line is pushed way over to the side. That could be a pompano. Oh yeah, he ran all the way in. Come here. Oh, come here. I gotta get this guy in first. My other line is standing straight up, y'all. The line is all the way to shore. What do we got here? Oh, that's a huge whitey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a big whitey. And my line is crossed up. Okay. All right, what am I gonna do here? Oh, this is a mess, guys. This is an absolute mess. That is a stud of a whitey. Oh no. What do I got here? What do I got here? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this guy in or not. He is so tangled up. This is so tangled up down there. Oh no. I don't know if this is going to happen. Okay. I got to try to undo this. Whatever fish is on there is still on there. Look at the size of this whiting. All right. First thing I'm going to do is get this sinker off. If I can even get this sinker off. This is what you expect for spring, guys. Just multiple rods going off at once. I got two sinkers in here. I got both my rigs up. Okay. So I got both my rigs up. So whatever was on there got off. Woo! Look at that tank. All right. Let me try to clear out this mess. That is an absolute stud puppy, guys. I will get a measurement on this one. This guy 
is coming in at about 14 inches, but just fat, fat, thick whiting, guys. On that rattle rig, whatever hit that second rod was big and fast, y'all. That thing came into shore so quick and cut east and went through all three of my lines. That guy got me tangled in such a mess so quick, there was no way to get any kind of pressure on him. Because of that behavior, that cutting down the beach, I'm pretty sure it was a big pompano. But landed the biggest whiting of the day. All right, guys, that is the haul for today. Four thick, nice whiting. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, guys. I have not seen a whiting bite that strong and that quality of whiting in over a year. That species, the Gulf Kingfish, has been scarce along the Gulf Coast. There's been memes about it. To get on a strong, nice sized whiting bite like that is very promising, y'all. The whiting could be back. Spring is here, y'all. Woo! Let's get it out there.